as we celebrate Diwali, a religious festival, food and family is at its center. The impact of natural hazards and disasters on agriculture, food and nutrition security, and family life remain in the hearts and minds of many citizens across the country, especially farmers, whose fortunes and livelihood are doubly impacted. Let this auspicious time serve the purpose of, of intensifying your love for God, fellow men, and our great Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. While many farmers in developing nations are vulnerable to natural disasters and risk losing their livelihoods, reports from the UN Food and Agriculture Organization indicate that they receive the least post-disaster aid generally. A few years ago, with flooding disasters in agricultural areas of the United Kingdom, Many farmers were reportedly quitting the industry hit by rain, disease, and cheap imports. Just as food security became a global issue, and the same scenarios which confront us today. What are our post-disaster needs assessments? In 2017 into 2018, I urge for national conversation on the lessons learned post-tropical storm breath and flooding disasters towards mitigating the unsustainability and vulnerability of the local food system as it relates to preserving national food and nutrition security. But people are demanding more local food. The question is, can we feed them? Amidst all of our efforts, voluntarily, to sustainably and consistently educate the national taste bud to desire knowing where their food comes from, how it is produced, and to respect the circumstances of the men and women who work to feed us, the scenario changes from demand for local food to requiring urgent investigation of national importance. The supply capacity of our local food systems to sustain 1.3 million people. Import cover should not immediately form part of this dialogue. Farmers are resilient people. They should be encouraged, but the national conversation is mute on the issue of farmer motivation in this country. As commendable as the government's initiative to deliver state land leases to thousands of farmers and knowing that it absorbs significant work effort and money on their part, our food security is actually our farmers. They convert land to food, a feat that new, no bureaucrat can deliver. I would like to invite all of Trinidad and Tobago to focus and honor that spark of divinity in each of us. For those of us without much to give physically, as well as those that came by the thousands to provide relief recently, it is invaluable to remember our country and people in your prayer. For those among us with the opportunity, I urge you to dig deeper to define a clear path ahead. On many fronts, we need to breed peace and positivity into our psyche and communities. The same God that created the storm created the boat. It must be the personal desire and heart of mankind to use what is available to us to our advantage in the circumstances. Let us be our brother's keeper. As we illuminate the darkest night of the year, know that only together joy will come in the morning. Shubh Diwali from Umar Dat Maharaj and family.